What's up guys, it is Saints fan, and as we become closer and closer to the release of GTA 5 on the next generation consoles, some more information has been coming out. Like I've said, there's been a lot of leaks, I'm not going to cover too many of the leaks just because I don't want to get in trouble with Rockstar, but if you guys look, they are out there. But Rockstar also put up a new newswire today talking a little bit about heists, as well as the GTA 5 o'clock guys, who actually got to play for a couple hours last week, they talked and answered some questions about some things that are in the next gen version. So I'm gonna be going over those, just recapping everything that's happening. Later today though, I got my GTA 5 farewell video. Hope you guys check it out. I think it's really cool. So hopefully you guys will as well. And one last thing, if any of you guys have the ability to get GTA 5 early, whether it's for the Xbox One or the PS4, please let me know either in the comment section or tweet at me. I'll probably have a better chance of seeing it if it's on Twitter. I want to get it by Saturday at least. Obviously, I will pay for everything and I've been looking over the past few days and I have come up with absolutely nothing so far. I get in the game early, so that's why I'm asking you guys. Maybe one of you guys can help me out here, but if not, it's all good. Anyway, let's get into the video. First things first from the Newswire, Rockstar has officially announced, now they've done this <laughs> numerous times, so I don't know if you guys want to believe them. I kind of do because I mean this time it, it seems for real but heist they say will be available for all four consoles as the first GTA online update to happen after the game launches on PS4 and Xbox one and they sell they'll have some details on that very soon so again not sure whether or not you want to believe them but that's what they're saying so far so it seems like heist are gonna be the first update which is great because we all want to play heist it's been so long so I just, I just can't wait for them to actually come out. I'll actually put the picture from the newswire on the screen. I'll probably link it in the description as well. But they actually have this really cool sort of census of GTA Online. And it just shows some of the numbers that, you know, have happened in GTA Online. So it's pretty cool. So I'll just have it scrolling through the screen while I talk about some of this other stuff. But moving on into the GTA 5 o'clock guys and what they were talking about. They actually mentioned how one of the Rockstar guys they talked to were that talked to somebody at the event, I think is what they said, he mentioned that there's gonna be a single player DLC and that it will be at least on the level of the Ballad of Gay Tony and the Lost and the Damned, which is great news because if you've ever played those DLCs, you know those were amazing. Now those DLCs introduce new characters, so I'm wondering if a single player DLC would release new characters. It'd be pretty interesting if they did, but obviously there's already the three in the game, so you'd have to work out the switching between the characters on the character wheel, because obviously there's already three, but still, it'd be pretty cool. They also mentioned how one of the Rockstar guys told them that in the first mission of the game, when you put the baklava on, which is like the mask type of thing, in the first heist in North Yankton, that it actually covers the screen and you only have the little holes that obviously you would get if you put a regular mask on, which is pretty cool. But again, we're gonna have to wait and see on whether or not that transfers over to online with all the masks and the sunglasses and stuff. Also, two things that they kind of went back on because they got corrected. Um, they mentioned how that there was going to be new pedestrian dialogue, but there's actually not. There's just so much in the game it sounded new to them. As well as, I mentioned this about a week ago, that you can view cutscenes in first person, but that is actually not the case. What happens is it'll switch to the regular cutscene in third person or whatever it is, and then once you're actually playing, it'll switch back to first person if you are in first person. So those are the two things they kind of went back on. I guess Rockstar kind of corrected them. But that is pretty much it with the roundup. Like I said, this is mainly about heist coming out, hopefully, finally. But um, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of leaks over the next few days. If you guys really want, go follow me on Twitter. I'll leave a link in the description. And I might tweet out some stuff, but I probably won't be doing too many YouTube videos on the leaked information. But that is it. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more awesome content. Like I said, later on today in a couple hours, I got my GTA 5 farewell video. It's pretty cool. So definitely check that out. But hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.